We're gonna show a hierarchy of mount attacks from Z mount. Here they are. So it's pretty easy. Anytime you're mount, you know, chest down pressure, Jake's gonna hip escape and turn. So I'm going to Z mount. Z mount is just where your toes are facing the way he's looking and your knees behind his head. Okay, so just have even pressure. The first one's gonna be making your diff wrap, which is basically a Kimura under the head, really tight. The big detail is every time you sit, you never take your foot out because you might hurt your knee. So you just tuck your foot under your butt, sit, roll, take the back. Okay, again, every time I'm gonna go from mount to Z, so he's gonna go. Second time I'm going for the gift wrap, but he straightens his arm away. So I just keep my seatbelt because I'm going for gift wrap. Okay. I'm going for the gift wrap, so I already have this connection. So when he extends his hands away, I release and I just have a seatbelt. Same thing, stay tight, roll over, take the back. Next one. Everything's the same. He goes. I'm going for the gift wrap. He extends. Instead of going for the seatbelt, I'm going to go ahead and undo his collar. Pick it up for a second. All I'm doing is flipping his collar so I can reach in. Because this isn't as good of a grip as flipping the collar and my four fingers fit. Okay, so one more time. I'm going gift wrap. He extends. I'm going to undo his collar, feed my four fingers in. All right, so we have two choices. You can just grab the pants or underhook the leg. It's gonna be kind of a preference you're gonna make and also like in a kind of in a moment, okay, just for now. Same thing, you're gonna to sit to your butt, don't let your leg pop out. As you sit, you're gonna to go to your elbow, don't lay down, if you can help it. Leg comes over, cross, sit up. It's gonna be like a, I'm trying to do it without choking, but just like a row machine, basically just, you know, just a normal motion, okay? So here we cross either on the pants, onto the leg, it's gonna sit back and tap him. Last one, he goes. I'm going gift wrap, he extends, seat belt, and this time I'm going for the bow and arrow again, but he's fighting my hands. All right, so I can't quite get a good enough grip. So I'm just gonna turn my hand over, pin his hand down, okay? Really quick, kind of simultaneously, I pick up, I jump my arm through, and I have two choices, I'll show the triangle first. I'm gonna hold my shin, and I'm gonna roll through. And then roll through, it's gonna step, turn, and lock. And the last one, I'm gonna run through it really fast. It'll be the same thing with the arm bar. He goes, I'm going gift wrap, seat belt, bow and arrow, he's fighting. Pin his hand down, I jump through and I catch. Right, but this time, like, uh, the roll feels wrong, something feels out of place. So I plant, switch my hands, bring my knee over his face, and I'm gonna look toward his butt and extend, belly down. Just gonna pull the arm. I can tap him or if he rolls, but we'll take. As he rolls, I'm just gonna keep holding his thumb, switch my feet, get the tap. Okay, real quick, all of them, fast again. And it's a hierarchy, but just like in jujitsu, you can you know, skip steps. So, right to the gift wrap, everything's tight, take the back. He breaks through. Seat belt, take the back. Flip the collar, make your grip. Bow and arrow, fight your hands, pick up, step through, either roll for the triangle or hook and step through for the arm bar. And as he rolls through, he flips over or he's going to tap, roll through, and just hold the thumb, both hands, shift your feet, get the tap.